I really don't like this question. Why did God accept Abel's sacrifice and not Cain's? When you look at this story, you see the first two um, sons of Adam present God with an offering and one brings the, the produce of the land, the fruits, the vegetables, the other brings the fats, uh, uh, the fat offerings off the best of his flock. And you see him present this to God and God basically says, I like your offering and I don't like yours. Imagine with me that you're a parent and you have two young boys and they're in at the kitchen table doing some lovely watercolor paintings and they spend hours on it and now they take their paintings to you as the parent and say, okay, dad, mom, which one of ours is the best? Every parent knows that answer. There is only one answer. Both of them are perfect. Look at the detail, the color, the emotion. I love how you portrayed that setting. So. Isn't God responsible for the first murder? Because he denied one and said, no, sorry, I don't like yours, that Cain responds? We have very little backstory with this. We just have a couple of verses, Cain, Abel, born, then the story. But immediately following this story, it says Cain became very angry. That's a key. See, when you're giving gifts to someone, there's, there's two ultimate responses. When you give a gift and they say, sorry, I'm not interested, you will either ask yourself, well, what did I do wrong? I ultimately did something and I wanted it for you and you didn't want it. So you introspectively look at yourself and say, what, what happened? The other response is anger. The response of anger is one where you were trying to have them respond with something for you. You were trying to manipulate the situation. If I can give this gift, then you're beholden to me. I'm needing something, therefore, if I give you a gift, you'll give something in return. In pagan religions, we see this all the time. The offerings and sacrifices to the gods was to appease them, to have them manipulated in some way that the, the rain would fall, the sun would shine, the plants would grow. I might have a child, health might come. And in this story, we begin to realize that Cain is trying to do something here. Because of his anger, immediately, God didn't respond how he wanted. We often look at the story and say that the offering's the problem. If Cain could have just worked harder, produced more, done better, been a better person, then God would have accepted it. That's not the story. We overlook that instead of the offering being the problem, that the offerer was the problem. Because in his heart, he's trying to manipulate God and saying, if I can just give you something, then you have to give something good to me. So it's not just the offering, but it's the heart of the offerer saying, God, this is for you out of love.